What's up, divas and divos? You already know who it is. It's your girl. So, of course, you guys already know I rocks with rosegal.com. I love doing their try ons, but I have to tell you guys this every single video because I want y'all to know, and I don't want y'all to be like, girl, you told me that was going to fit and it didn't fit and none of this stuff fit. I really, really need to tell you guys this. When you purchase anything from Rose Gal, Sammy Dress, Rose Wholesale, or any international national website please before you even start to click add to cart get your tape measures out honeys get them out look i keep one right here in this drawer get them out and measure your body if you don't know how to measure there are a bunch of videos on youtube that will show you how to go about measuring that's how i learned the correct way to do it and look at each garment sizing chart. So before you even start clicking add to cart, measure yourself and write your measurements down on a piece of paper. And then for each item that you want to purchase, um, whether it be clothing or shoes, make sure that you look at the sizing charts, especially for your region, whether it be the United States or the UK. Make sure you look at the sizing charts because it becomes a really, really tricky with like international sizes. They run smaller, especially from American sizes. So like in America, the United States, my size is normally like a large to an extra large, extra large. More times, nine times out of 10, it's like an extra large. But on sites like Rose Gal and Zaful and things, my size is like 3X, 4X. It all depends on what it is. So, so just make sure you do that and that way you'll have a perfect fit every single time. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is these amazing glasses that I'm rocking. Now you guys know I have several pairs of these. There are the tortoise shell ones with the dark tint shades, the black shaded ones with the dark tint shades, the navy blue ones with the dark tinted shades, and yes girls, the blinged out ones. They all are identical to this. They're all the exact same. I love these glasses. I love oversized glasses, period, okay? I do. I feel like, um, I just like oversized glasses, period. So I've been wearing these for quite some time and I've had these on in like a recent video and I absolutely love these. I wear these everywhere I go. Though they're not helping me from the sun, they helping me for being fashionable. So I really, really do love these shades a lot. So definitely check these out. These are like the ones that's in style. Like I love these. And the next ones that I got, they look so cute on the website. But then when I tried them on, why did I feel like an old person that just came from cataract surgery? Like, I don't know um, if these, they're like cute because I don't know. I'm I'm very iffy about the one minute I like them, then the next minute I don't. Um, I think it has to do with the whole side is like built in to where no sunlight is coming through. Like, that's really good. And then I start feeling like the Terminator, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like some futuristic character. I don't really know. Like, I like them and then I don't. Don't like them. I, I guess it all depends on what hair I'm wearing and what outfit I'm wearing. You know, it goes to say with any one of a pair of sunglasses, it all depends on what you're wearing. So I like them and then I don't like them. So I guess I like them because I'm going to keep them. I just got to figure out what to wear with them. But yes, if you really don't want nobody to know who you are, then girl, pop these bad boys on. Like they're cute, but... I don't know yet. So you guys let me know what you think of these. So I did get some clothing. Um, there are probably like a couple of other pieces, like two or three other pieces that um, I didn't get yet because majority of the items that I picked out were like three to five days shipping. And then some of them were like 10. So you gotta also look at when you're purchasing stuff, it'll say three to five days um, shipping, five to 10 days. That's when you're going to get your stuff. Not three to five days, actually, but it'll ship out within those three to five days after you place your order. When you have ones that say 15 days, it starts to become a longer processing time. So that's why a lot of the items that I get or anybody purchases, they're always split up. So I try to stick into the category of like three days shipping. So that way I know all of my stuff is coming at one time. So there's probably like a few other pieces that have not come in with this order. And when they do, I'll definitely put them in a new video, a new try on haul. But for this one, let's get into it. So to start off, I did get this sheer, my sheer blouse. Mumsy said I look like a businesswoman, right? 
She said, I look like a, because she's sitting right over there. Um, she said, I look like a businesswoman in this blouse. And I love blouses that are big like this. It's sheer. Um, you don't have to put anything on underneath it if you don't want to. But the sleeves are roll up. You can either wear them down or... Um, buttoned up the size that i got is a 3x it's a little bit roomy which is fine because uh you never know it may shrink a little bit i love big oversized blouses like this sometimes especially if they're sheer and they're shaped like this because you can wear them with some jeans and they're just really really relaxing and you don't have to really cover much up meaning your muffin top i don't need to wear a body shape or anything underneath i could just go as is but i thought it was cute especially for the color the next item that you see me wearing is this black high low lace sleeveless shirt i absolutely love this i don't know why because it looks so grungy and vintage like but also it does come with this black tunic like tank top i didn't wear it because i had on a black bra that was cute and i had on my waist trainer that was black so either way it was all black underneath there was really no need for me to put this black tunic on underneath it and i just really didn't feel the need to but i really do like this so this is a size 3x i love the v-neck in it and i decided to pair it with these ripped up jeans that my son had ripped up for me a while ago but it's very drabby and dark and emu type of look with it and it's just long and even though it may not be appealing to some it's really cute to me like i really do like this the most i think like this is one of my favorite items that they have sent me thus far then the next one is this dress i'm not really sure where i'm going with this but i thought it was cute when i seen it it was just something totally different it's kind of like a cement type of dress it does zipper up in the back and I like the keyhole opening in the front It's very very sexy kind of like the size that I have is a double XL and I feel like it's missing something I think like the waistline could have been sewn a little bit better like some type of kind of like fabric to go across right here so that way you breaks up the black and the navy blue lace that would just really be like it would make the dress I think like a whole lot more better but either way it's a nice fitting dress it's lightweight I like the way it kind of accentuates my waist and such this one is absolutely gorgeous um, and it's not too tight and it's very very flattering to a certain shape so I do like this one now into this colorful kind of like splash type of dress shirt and I love anything with color so this one I do like colorful shirts this is a size 3xl and the material is very lightweight it's like a polyester I'm thinking that you might get a little bit hot in this even though it's thin very stretchy so I could have gotten it in a size 2x but like I said you don't want to play on a you want to be on the safe side with these clothing so because you never know if it's going to shrink but I do like it so you can definitely pair this with some ripped jeans like that I have on or some leggings or you can put on some really thigh high cute boots and be daring to be bold and wear it as a dress either way it's really really cute this fiesta type of I don't really know if that's what it's called but I really did like it um, I like the sizing of it it's a double XL and okay I'm gonna be honest the top is a little bit too small like where the cups are at for your boobs it's really too small so if you have bigger boobs don't think about even getting this. It's not going to fit you because it just fit me in the boobage area and my boobs are not that big. I think that the strap that goes around your neck could be a little bit wider because I have said this in many videos, or not even many videos, but like a recent swimsuit try on. I hate for anything to be cutting into my skin, like definitely around the neck area when it comes to bathing suits. If the strap is too thin, that thing be cutting into my neck, I'll be ready to toss it off. So I think like for bathing suits, I think the strap strap should be a little bit more wider because it's more supportive and it's not cutting into your neck. It's a 2XL and this one to me ran kind of small because it is cutting into my thighs too. I also did pair it on with these tie-dye slit open flare pants. Now you guys know I'm a sucker for tie-dye and when I seen these they looked much longer on the website like they were lengthwise they were longer and then when I put them on they weren't as long as I would have expected them to be. I think like these are really good 
for the beach with some flip-flops. These are absolutely cute like a bathing suit cover-up. That's why I decided to pair it with my bathing suit because it just went with the whole entire look, the flow of things. Now, would I rock this outside? I would only rock this like if I was going to the pool or the beach. We don't have no beaches here, but either way, I would definitely rock this if I was like, you know, on the beach. But the next one is this bathing suit, which is like a high, high thigh, whatever you want to call that one. Now, this is in a size 2X, and it is, um, the only thing that I don't like about it is where the boob pads are at. They kind of like move all over the place with this bathing suit. I mean, and you can situate them. You can definitely remove them if you want to. But me, personally, I don't really like the bathing suits that are so high cut up on the sides. It just makes me feel really uncomfortable, especially because I still have some belly fat, so I feel really uncomfortable. But it's cute. I like the pattern, the construction. It fits really well. I probably could have got a 1X. It might have been a little bit smaller. Then again, I might not have been okay with that size. But either way, it's a really cute and colorful and I love the color blocking in it. And then the last one, I didn't even try it on because girl, bottoms were a kind of like hit somewhat. They were kind of tight on me. It's an extra large, um, so the bottoms were a little bit too tight on my thighs, but it still fit and it's high waisted. The only thing that wasn't very supportive was the top. Like my boobs kind of like fit in there, but the way it was made, it just was very poorly made and it wasn't supportive enough to hold up. So I really wasn't into that. I was very kind of like disappointed with it it looked really cute on the model but it just wasn't flattering for me but either way some things like i said are a hit and a miss but either way i love rose gal they got a lot of good finds make sure you check the shipping time frames for each garment and measure yourself and you'll be good to go and on that note all the links for everything that i tried on in this video will be posted for you girls below make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you love me and i'll see you in a soon to come video